All right, today is move stuff day. Oh, look at this. The rodents have started getting destructive. Okay, anyway, they've been hanging around camp all this time, but tonight is the first night they've done that. This should be fun. This is my backpack. kind of works it's also going to whack me on the legs anyway we'll um make do just walking along and I found this crayfish dead it was wedged up in under the rocks there Anyway, and my GoPro is really foggy this morning for some reason. I need to clean the lens a bit more. Oh yeah. Anyway, my makeshift angle backpack is working. Um, about halfway there. So, a few adjustments. This thing feels like it's strangling me and stabbing me in the back at the same time. But it's working. How's this? Low tide. Very nice. There's Total Cove up there. That is where we're going. Total Cove. All right, we made it. From my makeshift angle carrying device and it was uncomfortable oh and hard work but i still think it was better than carrying it on my shoulder or just lugging it in front of me and ryan is over there let's see there he is this here is going to be our camp for the night we've called it turtle cove because when we pulled up here to drop the angle off on the first day it was full of turtles Oh, still puffing, and um, I'm gonna run back, grab some more gear, grab some flats fishing gear, and we're gonna go fish the flats today. So that should be all right, let's go. That should be charging. All right, we're out of here. And lots of driftwood for a fire tonight. It's gonna be easy. So, Gonna have a little explore around in here. See what we can find. Probably a bunch of sand flies, I reckon. I reckon I'm gonna find a lot of sand flies and mozzies. How's this? And it's still alive, even this one. Still got greenery on it. Barely hanging in there. It's really cool in here. Is that a mini mud crab? Turning out very big. Don't know. He's got a big nipper on him, though. No! I'm looking in the mangroves and there's a bloody mud crab out there instead. He's heading out. Let's get him. Is that him there, that dark patch? He was right in on the edge of the tide. There he is. Oh, yeah. Have you got a snare? No, nah, i got a stick. Oh, dude. You're going to have to wash him, wash him all the way back to land and then deal with him, maybe. He looks a lot bigger in the 
shallow. He doesn't want to bite the stick. I'll flick him. Oh, here we go. He's in shallower there. I reckon bring him right up here. Yeah. <laughs> Sick. Well, thanks for spotting that. You're I'll keep us alive. Legend. I was literally, I've been hunting around in the mangroves for ages trying to find where they might be hiding and they're out here on the bloody flats instead I've got tape and stuff in my bag so I'll just tape them up I'll just watch them, like, look how big the claws are on <laughs> I don't even know if that's as far as the big one or not Nah, I think he's just decent By the stick, you big clown. There we go. Mud crab for dinner. Oh, I snapped my stick. Yeah, buddy! Phew. Check the rate of this high tide flowing in. He's trying to meet up with this soon. This will all be underwater soon. Just going to go collect my rods now. Thanks to Ryan for spotting the crab for me. Here I am searching in the mangroves and the things out here on the flats. Anyway. I might carry that stick with me. Could come in handy. Anyway, we're heading back. Uh, didn't really catch much on the flats this morning. Might have a queenie session at camp. And we got a mud crab for dinner tonight. Here we go, back at camp. Well, camp when we set it up. Socks are nice and crispy, so I like them. So it's time to go get the rest of our gear. So I'll get my crusty socks on. And get some hiking shoes on. That my empty bag and we'll go fill it up with stuff. Back at camp, and I think I'm just going to go the quick, easy pack down. That's in here. Sand, I hope. Yep, sand. So, because I'm going to be throwing this back up very soon, I think I've got plenty of room in my backpack. I don't think I'm going to take half the stuff out of here. Let me just pull that. Pull that. Everything can stay in here except for maybe the drone and some of this random crap. Yeah, which one comes out first? This one first. Okay. I'm gonna get a fire going. Our last night and we've got all this driftwood 
Don't have to burn it all, but we might as well have a decent fire. Well, I tried to unravel him and he dropped his claws, so we'll place them on the coals and we get him. I didn't want to get bitten, but top side down and that kills him. Sizzling away quite nicely. I'm just gonna put some coals on top of him. I'm trying to keep I'm trying to film and do this at the same time, it's not easy. Oh, that's hot. It's bloody hot, isn't it? It's a killer. It's a killer oh, there's juice going out. All right. Shall we flip the uh, body? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Wait, I think it's still oh, shut up. <laughs> He is alive, then there's something wrong with him. Oh well. First time cooking mud crabs, so I might have stuffed it up a little bit. Some of the juices come out. But I reckon it'll still be delicious. How is he? Even the legs have got a decent amount of meat in them. Mm. Good? Yeah. Yeah, nice. Those claws are going to be so good. You reckon they're done? They're bright red. Does that mean they're done? It means it's hot. I can tell you that much. I reckon he's probably cooked too. Just gonna put him there. Just gonna put him there. Look at those two claws compared to my hand. Put my hand behind, that's better. Huge. Voila. With that. And that. Hey. He's not as full. You know how they talk about them being full? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. It's pretty good. That is amazing. First time ever ever eating mud crab. Hmm. He's really good. Not as full. I've heard people talking about them being full. It wasn't as full as some of them can be, I guess. But it's delicious. Oh. Oh. That is good. Oh, juice going everywhere. Mmm, you want to suck on a lung? No, I'm good, thanks, mate. <laughs> <laughs> mm. You can have all of that. I might just steal two legs. Got it. Mm-hmm. That's good. The claws were the best. So, best flavour. Yeah. Two trout wings. We'll give them a quick rinse somewhere. It's cooking nicely. Oh, yeah. 
and how's that sunset? So good. I'm going to leave it at that. So we've got the ate the mud crab first ever time I've grabbed a mud crab. Bit of fun. Ryan helped find it. It was delicious. It would have been good if it was a bit more full. Got some coral trout wings on the fire. We caught them on Sunday, so they definitely need to be eaten now because our fridge hasn't been working well, but it had ice in it, so they smell fine. If I die and this episode never comes up, you know we got food poisoning and something went wrong. <laughs> Thank you to everyone for watching the episodes and supporting the channel. Thank you to Ryan for driving my lazy butt out here. Thank you to Trailblazers and Paul for um, helping to support the trip and providing good gear in our local town, Albany. Thank you to Ocean's Legacy for providing some prototype rods to test out here. Thank you to Bill for getting us out here because we couldn't get out here without him. Um, and it saved us tying a boat all the way up here, which would have sucked. And thank you to everyone for watching the video. So if you enjoy them, give it a like. Give us a subscribe if you're not subscribed. All right, thanks for watching. See you, everyone.